Hello mate and welcome to another exciting episode of our Unity visual novel type thing series. In this episode we are going to write the code that's going to allow us to convert or rather create a character using our command line. So the first thing you have to do is come into your input decoder and we need to create some variables. So go ahead and do that and then we can see what we can see. So now we're in our input decoder code, what we need to do is we need to add a new command in here. So what we're going to say is if open brackets args zero is equal to character with a capital C, then we're going to say, and I need to adjust that as you can see I've made a little typo there, so we'll get rid of that now before we get too mad. And we're going to call a new method called create new character and then we're going to input string to pass and we're going to try and slow down so that we get our there we go nice and simple yeah so now we need to actually create this method that we're going to use so we're going to append our file and the first thing i'm going to do is create a new region and i'm just going to call this region new character just so that I know and then obviously we need to do end region not end if end region happy days so what we're going to do is public static void create new character and then we're going to take in our string string to pass like so and then there's our method complete so we're going to do things I feel like we need to hammer home a little bit the use of reg edit. So we're going to use reg edit, or sorry, reg x, reg, regular expressions, um, just so that we can get practiced at using it because it's a really useful feature. And I feel like if we if we possibly can use it as much as possible, then it will hammer home what we need to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new string, and we're going to call it new character short name and we're going to reference we're going to make it null to start with and we're going to do the same thing with new car full name and we're going to spell name correctly and the reason we're defining it as a null is so that if we have a command that doesn't include certain variables then it doesn't matter it's not going to throw us an exception so we can be fairly safe yeah, and we're going to create a color and it's going to be called new character color and that's going to be color dot white like so and then one more string new char side image because we obviously want to be able to define an image that appears when the character speaks if we're going to do that further down the line we will implement that Cool. So now we need to come up with our various permutations of the command. And there might be a better way of doing this. I honestly don't know. Um, so we're just going to do it the heavy handed way. So we're creating a new var and we're going to call it character expression. And we'll just, I'm going to lowercase the C just so that we don't get confused. And this is going to be a regex. And we need to open a bracket. I'm going to put a semicolon at the end there just so that I don't forget to do it afterwards. And the regular expression starts with an at and the character uh, like so. So that's how the user is going to define or rather tell us that there is about to be a new character defined. And then they're going to encase their command in brackets. So what we need to do is black backsplash bracket like so. And then we need to create the group. Now it gets a bit long-winded and we're going to call the first group short name close our group and we're going to input the range a to z capital a to capital z and zero to nine underscore and yeah i think that'll work and then we're just going to say plus there close our bracket comma right so the first command, or rather the first part of the character command is going to be the character short name, and it's going to be separated by a comma, 
Next thing is going to be their full name. So again, create a new group or a new, a new variable called full name. Again, close that off and we're going to input our range. It's going to be A to Z. In fact, let's just do this the quick and easy way. We'll just copy this bit. And then we can just go with that and go control V there. There we go. Now we've got our range. Next one is going to be the color equals. So this is how they're going to type the command. Then we're going to input our variable, rather draw out our variable, which is going to be white. It doesn't have to be white. We could just call this character color like that. Why not? And then control V our bit at the end. And then the last thing is going to be image equals. And then we're going to take in our next variable, which is going to be side image like that and just get rid of that and there we go now we can get rid of that comma at the end and of course we're going to encapsulate all of that in the after bracket as well or rather the last bracket so i appreciate that that might seem like an awful lot of nonsense so when our user defines a character what they're going to do is they're going to type a command that says character open brackets short name long name or full name color and then side image i appreciate that the um that the editor has changed all of these variables but that's how we're going to define our new character in fact we're going to say color equals and then we're going to say like white or whatever so that's how we're going to define our character using the reg expression but obviously that's not the only way we can define a character because the person the user may very well create a expression or a character using less commands less overloads so we're going to control c that we're going to control v it we're going to paste it three more times we're going to call this one a this one b and this one c so we're going to do this one as if they haven't declared a side image we're going to do this next one as if they haven't declared a side image or a, a color. We obviously need to make sure we keep the closing brackets there. And obviously we need to do the same thing here like that. Next thing we're going to do, I need to actually put new in here. I'm going to do that now before I forget. Otherwise, there you go. You can see our text is now formatted correctly. Silly me. And then this one is going to be if we have an image defined but no color. So when we define a character, it is mandatory that we create a short name and a full name. You can do it without a side image or a color. You can do it with just a side image, with just a color, or with both. Those are our variations of the character command. Now we're going to say if character expression dot is match string to pass there we go found it eventually then we're going to do something we're also going to do the same things although slightly different so i'm going to copy this chunk here three more times and we're going to say if character expression a dot is match character expression b dot is match and character expression c dot is match so we're going to check the f this is the first permutation we're going to check then we're going to check for this one then we're going to check for this one and then we're going to check for this one nothing overly complicated happening there so what we're going to do is we're going to say var matches equals character expression dot match string to pass like so now we're going to say new char short name equals matches dot groups spell groups correctly and we're going to open our square brackets square brackets and we're going to go look for short name dot to string like so so what we're saying is if 
our string to pass matches the format of this first command line here, then what we're going to do is we're going to set a variable with these groups matching. What we're going to do next is we're going to pull out this short name bit here, the bit of the command that matches here, and we're going to set it as our new character short name. And we're basically going to repeat that for the other three attributes of the character. So we'll say new char full name equals matches dot group. Open our square brackets, open our quotation marks, and we're going to look for full name dot to string. Nice and simple. Now we're going to say new char color. equals color dot clear color utility dot try pass html string matches dot groups and we're going to take in our character color dot to string out new char color. Okay, let me explain what's happening here. We are going to set our character color. Bear in mind that this variable is not a string. It is a color as we've defined up here. So what we're going to do is we're saying it's clear and then we're checking to see we're saying using this new command color utility dot try pass HTML string matches dot groups dot character color to string what we're doing is we're checking that string and seeing if it matches any of our any of our colors and if it does then we're going to change our new character color variable to the output of that command nice and simple then we're going to say new character side image equals matches dot groups open our speech mark and we're going to look for side image in there dot to string nice and easy pretty simple yeah so now what we're going to do is we're going to take that code and we're going to pop it in here now we're going to change that to a we're going to pop it in here and we're going to change this to b and then we're going to dump that in there as well and we're going to check for c now we know Expression A does not define the side image. So what we can do is we can just delete that because we've already defined it as null. Now we can come into B and we can see that we're not defining either the color or the side image. So we can just delete those nice and simple. Again, we've already defined them as null or a default color of white, doesn't matter. Lastly, we have a side image, but we don't have a color defined. So we're just gonna delete that line from there happy days right now what we're going to do is if you remember we created a list of characters up here so we're going to now append that list or rather add to that list our new character so we're going to say character list dot add open brackets new character open brackets again and it's going to have new char short name being the first property new char full name being the second property new char color being the next property and then last but not least new char side image nice and easy job done so now what we want to do is test that so we're going to go into our testing script like this and where we are passing some new code what we're actually going to do is we're going to take this information that we've used to create eileen and we're actually going to do it using the, the new input line so we're just going to copy this and we'll paste that and we're going to actually change this command now so that it reads character open brackets the first bit is going to be the name of the character so we're going to say e comma elaine comma color equals red and we'll just give it a random side image. It doesn't matter because we don't currently use them. So we'll just call the side image again. And then we're going to close our parentheses like so. 
cool. So now we can run our code and check if that works. And just to catch a couple of errors very quickly, firstly, we need to change these statements to else if so that it doesn't check every single time. It's only going to check it once by that, which I mean is if it finds a match here, we're not going to look to see if there's a match on the other expressions. However, if there isn't a match there, it will check this one. And if there's no match there, it will check this one and so on. So there's that. And what I've also noticed is that I forgot. I've actually written image equals in there. So I'm going to copy that because we need to put that into our testing script. Remember to save your code as well. So we also need to put image equals in there. Otherwise, we're going to get an exception. So now if we were to run back to our code, notice the console there will tell us if our new character is created. So I'm going to clear that. We press the play button what we'll see is Eileen is still saying this is some text and she's saying it twice but what that means is that our character has successfully been created and is saying what we want her to say so that about wraps it up for this episode guys i hope you found that useful informative etc let me know what you think in the comments below i'm sure you will and i will see you in the next one but until then you take damn good care of yourselves all right bye bye